Welcome back to Thistle Hill Farmstead. Today, we're gonna to be looking at an issue with our Samsung refrigerator. If you notice, these doors are not even at the top here. And what it's causing is, actually, this is the issue exactly. This door should have this flap that opens up to seal between each door. And that flap should close automatically when you close the door and see what's happening it's just barely touching the strike plate up here that it should be to push that close so what we're going to need to do is lift this door up a little bit so that that flap will engage in this track when we close the door so let's do that come along and as usual if you like this video Please press that like button and remember to subscribe to keep up to date with all of our videos and ring that bell notification so that when we post a new video, you'll be notified. My wife's making fun of me off camera here. <laughs> so here's the issue we're running into kind of closer up. This top part of the door here, or this flap, has this little plastic tab on it which should engage in this groove and then pull itself closed just like that when you close the door but what's happening is it's not doing that because this door is too low down so uh, what I'm gonna have to do is shim this door so that it'll raise it up and it'll engage in this track and always close this little flap which seals between the two doors now to do that, uh, Samsung sends you some shims for the doors. And uh, if you're like me, I knew where those were when the refrigerator was new, but now I have no idea. So I just ordered a new set and uh, they came in. So we're gonna fix the door here, inserting those shims. Here is the part number for the shims. It is the uh, DA99-04158A. And I ordered these on Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link, which means that uh, if you click that link to buy these, I will get a little bit of revenue out of that uh, purchase. However, it won't cost you anything uh, additional for that. But it helps me out a little bit if you do click that link and purchase them via the Amazon link below. So uh, what it is, is these little plastic washers or shims, which go below the hinge in the door. And you see these are different thicknesses. So they send you four different thicknesses. I'm not sure how good that's coming in, but you see how thin that one is. This one is a bit thicker and thicker yet, and then a very thin one. So you get four different thicknesses so that uh, you can choose the one that best fits your need for shimming the door. Let's see if we can see that. There you go, see the different thicknesses of those? And uh, all you do is you insert these underneath the hinge of your door and it will raise that door up, the thickness of the shim. So I basically determined the thickness of the shim to use simply by putting the shim up there and kind of seeing which one would bring the door up to the even level. And I'm gonna try the next to the thickest. I don't know that I need the thickest. This is the second to the thickest. So we'll try that one. So here we are looking at the hinge with the door open. And if I lift up on the door, you'll see underneath here, there's a black bushing here. This shim needs to go underneath that bushing. So I just lifted that up with my high tech tool called a butter knife, lifted that up. And now I'm going to try to take my bushing here slide in there and I'm going to take this little pair of pliers and see if I can 
push it up on there. Whoops. So let's see if I can get it in there. Okay. So there we go. I got the bushing on there. I dropped the door down. And you can see now the bushing is up under there. It's lifted the door up. So let's see if that solved our problem. So now that I put that shim in, let's see how it works. And as you'll see, when I close the door now, it's high enough that it goes into the track and pushes itself closed. So before, you noticed it was, even if it was open here, and this does go down if you happen to have it open and want to close it. But now it pulls open and catches in the track. So it's low enough here now that it catches in the track nicely and pushes that closed where before it was just going over that track. So that's fixed our problem. Let's close the door. And we'll also see that now the door line on the top so they look nice and our little flapper issue is fixed. So I hope that helped you out.